Welcome to the presentation on Vestier and Q Java programming using Spring Boot. In this presentation, we will cover a Java program which will send a message to the MQ and another Java program which will receive the message from the MQ will create a separate Windows batch file to execute this program in a standalone mode. We are going to use an IDE called as IntelliJ. You can use Eclipse also and other uh, integrated development IDEs for your development. For the purpose of our programming, we are going to have a queue manager called test QMGR. Uh, we can we are going to have a queue as Q1. We are going to use default channels like system.auto.svrcon or system.dev.svrcon. These are the default channels which are created when you create a queue manager, either by using command line or by using an MQ Explorer. Uh, we will use a port called 5001. So this is the port which can be created by using a listener uh, configuration on your explorer as well as the command line utility provided by MQ. We'll create a Java program uh, which is called as MQ Sender Program Java and this is a program as MQ Receiver uh, Program Java. Uh, in order to execute this program as a standalone mode, we will create two batch files and execute them in command line uh, window. On this slide you can see uh, the queue manager in an MQ Explorer. Uh, you can see the test queue manager uh, and the queue called Q1. You can also see the channels. Uh, so this is the default configuration which exists when the queue manager was created. You could also create your own server connection channel using a run mqsc command and uh, you can also see a listener which is created uh, using uh, the command line command uh, if you create a queue manager using uh, explorer then you don't need to create a listener as such creating a queue manager through the explorer you can always specify the port number and the tcp while creating the queue manager but in case you use the command line you need to uh, create a listener uh, or the port uh, where the queue manager is running in this presentation slide, you can see that we are going to use IntelliJ as an integrated development environment where you are going to use a Gradle build script instead of Maven, but you could also use Maven. So we can see that uh, we are going to use a all client.jar which is available on the Maven repository uh, which has, it could be downloaded using a Gradle script. Uh, we are going to use a uh, uh, JMS APIs in conjunction with the uh, MQ API which I already provided. You could use other classes like MQ Message Producer and Message Consumer, uh, which are available in MQ libraries. Um, we are uh, going to show the video presentation about how the messages are sent and how they are consumed from the queue. So in the Eclipse ID, you could see that we have fill dot gradle file and then we are going to um, use the spring boot configuration as well as we are going to use the um, compile uh, dependency about the all client.jar and we are going to download it from maven central repository now you see the main uh, spring boot program uh, application we are going to bootstrap the Spring application and we are going to pass a command line argument. Based on the command line argument, we are going to start either the sender program or the receiving program. So the command line argument, if it is sent, then we are invoking a sender program. If the command line argument pass is received, then we are going to invoke a receiver program. All these are going to be clubbed into a batch file. So the same program could be used to start sender or the receiver so if we go to the sender program uh, we could see the mq sender program java we mentioned the mq properties like the host port then we are going to use the default channel that's the server connection channel we are mentioning the queue manager q1 uh, we are going to use the default connect and send message and then close the connection So all these are properties are filled into a factory class 
the context is initialized so in queue context is initialized queue is initialized and then we invoke a send message api and send message to api so similarly uh, we have the same thing for the receiver program also so in case of receiver program also we have the same uh, configuration we have a connect api we have receive message api and we close the connection so i have kept this program uh, very simple because our purpose is to show how to connect to mq and send message and receive message we are not covering spring programming in detail in this session therefore i have kept the things at minimum in order to get the connectivity to the mq series through a java spring program using gradle and an id or the minimum requirement for a developer to get started So we execute, we compile it, we uh, clean build it, and execute it. And if you see the build libs directory, you have the jar file there, which we, which we have to mention in the bat, Windows batch file. So we created two Windows batch files: mq sender program dot bat and mq receiver program dot bat. So if you see the sender program dot bat, you see that we have passed a command line argument called send. We have mentioned the jar file name, which was built in the libs directory. So uh, this is as far as sender is concerned. So the receiver batch uh, means you see that we have passed in the command line that we have received. So if you go back to the main program again, you could see based on the command line argument, we are going to invoke a receiver or a sender. Next, our uh, start the command line window for the sender. Start the command line window for the receiver. So now, so we start the receiver program, and you see that the receiver program is started, and it's receiving, uh, it's sensing for the message to come in. It is still active. and it's waiting for the message to read from the queue now we are going to start a sender and we are going to pass a unique message into that through the sender program onto the queue that we mentioned in the program so if we look at the message that we are going to pass we are going to pass a unique message with a unique id which is randomly generated so each time you send a message uh, you have a new unique id So let's uh, go back to the command line window and then see how the sender is sending the message and how the receiver is able to continue. So we are starting the sender program. The receiver program is on. As soon as the message is sent out, the receiver consumes the message from the queue. You see the message ID, uh, which is sent by the sender, and the receiver. If you check the message ID, the same message is consumed by the receiver. So that completes the demo for the sending and the receiving program by using uh, MQ APIs.